Pigeon Nation, a school blessed with extensive curricula and facilities. It's already been a year since I ended my ordinary life and walked through these gates. I should probably say, this school is known for one thing in particular, <laughs> and it's not the football team. This school is Japan's, no, the world's greatest gathering place for gifted birds. Birds who want to study the arts and the sciences and <laughs> eldritch horrors, <laughs> they all come to St. Pigeonations. The teaching staff and student body are both made up of a diverse blend of birds of different backgrounds and species and absolutely no racial tension whatsoever. I'm often asked why I chose to come here, <laughs> despite not being a bird. It's a long story. Not every day I see you rushing along like this. Ryota! Usually you'd have been ready for an hour by now, Hyoko. Overslept? <laughs> this rock dove who thinks he can sass me is named Kawara Ryota. We've been friends a really long time. He can be a little mischievous, but he's responsible and kind. Thanks for the backhanded compliment, asshole. Breakfast was a little hard to catch today. I can't relax without red meat inside. Living as a hunter-gatherer sounds tough. I will hunt down anything for you. I might take you up on that offer when you grow some fucking hands like an actual civilized being. Bing bong, oh, bing the bell already? Bong, Come on, bing, we need to hurry to bong, class. Bing. Like zoinks, Yoko. No good being late on the first day. And so Ryota pulled me along into the school. But I don't have any hands. Today is the start of a new semester, and since Japan is crazy backwards, that means it's the summer. <laughs> it was all I could do not to kill someone last year. Better make up for it this year. Ryota and I are in the same class again. This is the happiest day of my life. Old faces? New faces? <laughs> I can't freaking tell. I'm a human and they're birds and they all look the same to me. I hope we all get along. Here's the formation of many happy memories. Oh, the teacher's here. Good morning, everybody. No, oh, Jesus Christ, I can't believe I just said that. Uh, I'm Nanaki Kazuaki. I seem to be your teacher this year. I specialize in math and physics and also some other things. Sir, wake the fuck up! You're a goddamn teacher! Do your job! He sleeps with his eyes open? <laughs> This quail is Nanaki Kazuaki. He's a famously soporific math professor. Well, I heard the rumors, but I hadn't expected him to fall asleep just like that. Drugs will do that to you. Apparently, he's well known as a mathematician. And because no one needs mathematicians, that's why he teaches. <laughs> Who said that? <clears throat> Isn't it a little warm in here? Uh, speaking of which, we've got some foreigner here or some shit. Please, introduce yourself, Shirogane. What is the point? I've no wish to speak with commoners. Do not think I'm here because I wish to be. Oh well, nap time. <sighs> order, order, order! That's no good! Listen, if this super important birdie doesn't want to tell us who he is, you know, I don't give a shit. But we can't just let him break the rules like that, sir. The system will collapse and we'll all turn into kulaks and dissenters. Well, when you put it like that, could you at least say your name, Shirogane? <gasps> My name is Shirogane Labelle Sakuya. No need to gawk, I know it's impressive. <laughs> It seems this fantail is Shirogane Sakuya. His feathers would make any birdie proud. Yeah, they would. He's pretty stuck up. 
But then transferring is never easy. I hope we can be friends. In your dreams. Saki stops being a jerk for about two minutes, but still glares daggers at Ryota and me. I think this little bird is telling me there's going to be trouble down the line. Lunch already? <laughs> Today is slipping by so quickly. That reminds me, I've had this copy of the Kama Sutra checked out from the library all summer. I should return it now. Where is everyone? <gasps> Did my wish come true? Are they all gone? Huh? Is somebody looking at me? Probably just my imagination. Or not. A morning dove stands in a dark corner, staring in my direction. Morning doves aren't very common in Japan, but apparently they're everywhere in America. Um, did you want something from me? <laughs> oh, he looked away. Not really. I'm pretty sure it was him who I felt looking at me. There's no one else here but the voices. Are you sure? Yes. I don't want anything from you. It's the things you're carrying I'm interested in, Baka. He glances at the desk as if to say, Hurry up and return them already. <laughs> Sorry. I'm illiterate. I don't know why I tried to read them. Were you waiting for them all summer? He silently returns his gaze to his book. Maybe he's in a bad mood. Well, I'm Tosaka Yoko and I'm DDF. What about you? Nagaki. Fujishiro Nagaki. Freshman. <laughs> well, Fujishiro Nageki, huh? Well, morning dads are pretty rare in Japan. Maybe it's just his voice, but he seems kind of sad. Leave me alone. He's reading his book again. Oh, maybe he'll teach me. Okay, sorry to bother you. I keep meeting fucking weirdos today. Oh, now that I have that out of the way, I think I'll head back to class. Wait, isn't that... <sighs> you should have been instructed not to approach me at school. Come on, Sakuya. What kind of thing is that to say your own brother? After all these years! My brother? You must be joking. You've never once been a brother to me. Hey, here's a fun game. Shut up, turn around, and walk away. I'll do the same thing, and hopefully we'll never see each other again. Hey, wait just a... <laughs> ah, Sakuya. Your ego is like the universe. Constantly expanding. I hadn't meant to eavesdrop. But I think I just overheard something juicy. The ever-popular trendsetter and ladies' man, Sakazaki Yuya, is Sakiya's brother? I wonder what the story behind that is. Hey. You heard that whole thing, right? Are you a friend of Sakiya's? Uh, I'm, I'm sorry! Uh, what's it to you, freaking bird? <laughs> no sweat. I try to stay sexy and suave in front of all you little ladies, but it's kind of hard when I'm talking to a guy who's the opposite of suave. <laughs> this fantail pigeon is Sakazaki Yuya, an upperclassman. I'd never talked to him before, but he's famous for welcoming all comers, if you know what I mean. You're Hyoko, right? How did you know? Well, it's because I've been stalking you. I mean, uh, I know every birdie here, and you're the only human. I'm not sure if he even has any, but did you say you were a friend of Sakia's? Not exactly. We had a rather ballistic introduction this morning. I heard that! You haven't seen ballistic yet! I have to put up with him because he's in my class. That's it. I'd never have thought that stuck-up aristocrat wannabe was your brother. Aristocrat wannabe. He is an aristocrat, actually. Genuine article. In the flesh. He is? Well, hopefully we'll dub the rest of this game or else you'll never see me again, Monami. Adieu. 
birds have nobility hierarchies? I've never heard anything like that about Yuya, though. Probably a twisty business. That's all I've got for you today. Stay safe, every birdie. Shit, I did it again. Yay! Uh, huh? Uh, sir, where's Ryota? I think he said something about explosive diarrhea. Try checking the creepy doctor's office. Now that I think about it, Ryota always did have a weak stomach. I should go to the infirmary to progress the narrative structure. Excuse me, anybody home? Nobody's here? Well, there's no one sleeping behind the curtains and the doctor isn't here either. My hunter-gatherer instincts feel no presence, which is a really creepy thing for someone to say. There's no birdie here. Ryota, where the hell are you? No reply. The infirmary is empty. Weird. Did he go home already? I feel a little nervous poking around the empty room. Now that I think of it, I haven't been in here much before. Unlike Ryota, I'm perfectly healthy. Whoa, they've got all kinds of drugs in here. Ethyl par trifi lucio benzene? What do these even do? Care to find out? D d d doctor If you're looking for the PCP, it's in the bottom drawer. No, thank you! <laughs> this partridge is Iwamine Shu, the school doctor. He's rather creepy in person. He has a bad reputation among the student body. And I don't know why he still works here. Everybody knows that even just talking to him can bring you down with aspergillus, pseudocosis, or even worse things. And I never even heard him come in the door. Ninja doctor? You don't look like you have a good reason to be in here. Did you need something? Uh, um, I heard Ryota... Kawara from 2-3 was supposed to be in here? Him? He has already been... helped. Oh. Are you going to buy some drugs or not? That bitch, he left me here with this creepy-ass doctor. S sorry to bother you, creepy bird. I'll be going now. Fine. But please remember, I am always here when you need your fix. <sighs> Why is that guy a teacher here? Ryota's already gone home. What do I do now? Oh! I never did get around to joining a club last year. Maybe I'll go take a look at some of my options. I think there are clubs for baseball, soccer, track, kendo, migration, bird watching. There's probably more, but I really don't care, so I'm just gonna go with the track team. I was in track team in middle school, and it was always fun watching the birds hop around. I think their club room is on the ground floor, off to the side. A white dove is having a tantrum outside. Go, go! This is no pudding for a man! Go! Oko-san rejects it! It is a lie! A vicious falsification! He's dancing around on a squished pudding. Hey, that's not very nice to the pudding. <laughs> This is Oko-san. He doesn't really look it, but supposedly he's a fan-tailed pigeon. I think? Either way, he's hyper. Go! Oko-san has suffered a deception most vile! A wretched betrayal! Betrayal? Go! We cannot let our new members be tainted by false idols! Provide new puddings immediately! Go! But this is no pudding! Ousted, scorned, and betrayed! Dragged into the street and shot by those he trusted most! It's squished and filthy, but the thing under his feet looks like normal store-bought pudding. Um, what's wrong with it? It's just pudding. Go, go! Spare out the chest, young lady! This is no laughing matter! Oko-san used wing attack. It's super effective. Go! Go! 
They'll rue the day they crossed Hokosan. He'll have them flayed, hanged, shot at dawn, he will. Go! Anyways, Hokosan must now train to achieve true pudding. Nice meeting you. Farewell! Go! And he's gone. He's a good runner, but I don't know what pudding has to do with the track team. And so ended the first day of my second semester at this stupid freaking school. Uh, I think we want to choose the class council today. As you all know, this school doesn't require you to join any club. If you want to, you can. But if you don't, then you're free to go home after school. Oku-san has time only for the track team! A plus. You want a gold star? What about you, Shiragane? That's funny, Nanaki. You act as though I'm not in charge. Oh yeah. <sighs> they straight up made you student president, didn't they? That seems fair. Uh, nepotism ho, don't we get a vote? Just coming to school is enough for me. I'm so fucking boring. Well, I guess you do have to take care of your sick-ass mom on your own. Hmm, I wonder how I should waste my time at this comedy school. Maybe I'll join the... Okay, Yoko. Pick things. Hmm, library staff. That's what I'll do. Is that everybody? Good. Get out. Daddy needs his beauty sleep. Have fun! Today's an elective day. What should I do? Look at these choices! Pick one! Oh, I think I'll attend gym class. That sounds like fun. I had to sit out the wing training because I'm not a bird, but it was fun to watch them flail around like idiots. Bird -a -na -na! Hiyoko has leveled up! Vitality has increased! I'm on receptionist duty today. Better hurry. Boring as usual. The library here doesn't seem very popular. Not enough books? It's on the fifth floor though, so I can throw myself out the window if it gets too bad. Sitting here twiddling my thumbs is bad for me. I wish someone would come in and ask me something. That way I can pretend I know more than them, even though I totally don't. There's no birdie here. I wonder if it would be okay to close early. I wish I had evolved from dinosaurs so I had wings and could fly away. If you're really planning to fly, that window should make for a fine liftoff point. Nageki? When did you...? I've been here all along. Well, I never noticed. He's almost as bad as that creepy doctor. You're thinking I have no presence, right? It's okay. I already know that. You certainly seem to like this place. Yeah, like this place. Um... Um, you should go outside. Oh, he looks angry. I think I just tripped a landmine. It's... too sunny. You some kind of vampire or something? I... don't like the sun, and that's all there is to it. Nageki takes a book off the shelf and disappears between the stacks. Did I offend him? Ah, sitting home alone in my cave is so relaxing. Oh, that's right. Tomorrow is the class hike. Should I prepare anything? We won't be going so far, so I don't have to. Well, health first. I think I'll have some gross noodles and go to sleep.
Let's Start Project.